The next tool we're going to look at is the rotate tool. The rotate tool can be found right here. When you select that and you select the object that you're going to rotate, you get the sphere with all three axes plus an additional one here. In order to use this, it's very simple. You select the axis that you want to rotate and it'll turn yellow. You click and hold and you rotate the object. Now it's important that we work in 2D. So if you want to rotate on the X or excuse me, Z and X axis, rotate here and you'll notice the numbers above the object that you're rotating, X, Y, and Z. You can watch the numbers and rotate it a specific amount. So for instance, if you wanted to rotate it to 90 degrees from where it started. The other way to do that is to come down here at the bottom and type in 90 degrees. So if we wanted a 75 degree rotation, you simply click 75, click somewhere else, and it will rotate it to 75 degrees and you can get it pretty accurate. The X key works on the rotate as well, the same as it did in the move tool. So if I select this axis right here, toggle my X key. Now I can rotate on just that one axis until I get it where I want it. I can turn it back on, select another axis, toggle it. And now I can move it on that axis, only that axis get it where I want it and turn my sphere back on. Again, don't forget about your X, Y, and Z axis where you can type in the numbers here to get pers precise measurements if that's what you're doing at the time. One of the things that comes up a lot when actually m rotating objects is where does it rotate from? When I draw an object, it's going to set the center of the object automatically. Um, in this tool right here, use pivot point center. We can actually use selection center. Or we can use this transform coordinate center. Um, and as the box is drawn right now, these really don't change a whole lot because of where the... Um, center was drawn. If you'll notice that this one came down to the bottom, but the other two stayed pretty, pretty close to the other one. I can come over here to the hierarchy tab, click here. First I'm going to click on my move tool. Click on my hierarchy tab and affect pivot only. This allows us to move the pivot point. When we move the pivot point, instead of moving the object normally, look at the, how it rotates on the it's spinning around in a circle here with the pivot point at the bottom there, but in the center of the block. If I move my pivot, and I move it towards the left of my box here, right on the edge, turn off my effect pivot, and now I rotate it, it rotates on its end. Now if you can imagine this being a door, let's shrink this down a little bit. This is a door. Now it's going to pivot the way it needs to pivot. If I come back up here, my pivot goes back to the center. So now if I need to actually rotate my door and then rotate it on the end, I can effectively move my door where I want to move it and then come back to the center point to animate it. When using the scale tool right here, we have three options. We have scale uniformly, scale non-uniformly, and scale and squish. We're going to start off by using the scale uniform. Draw a sphere so that we can see what's happening with the scale tool. Click our scale tool. 
And just like our move tool, we can select multiple axes or one axis, all three axes, just two axes, or one axis. So notice when I click here at the bottom down here, we have the entire triangle yellow. All three axes are going to scale. So when we click on that, everything scales uniformly. If we select just two of those, again, remember right click up here and just select two of those, it's going to scale it on those two axes, but it's going to be a uniform scale because we have that here. And again, we can grab one axis, stretch it out. Non uniform scale, simply what it says, we can actually stretch it on two axes here. And the scale and squish, make it squish it. The X key works just like it does on the move tool on this one. We can lock in an axis to stretch. And it will allow us to do some pretty cool stuff.